What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today it is raining outside, but today I had an idea. And no, I'm not a vapor, I don't vape. This is what we're gonna use today. And here's some I made earlier. So basically, to open this, you twist, open, and boom. Obviously, um, we're making some Venom Symbiotes and Rick and Morty's Portal juice, um, because I wanted a little vial of each, uh, little gloop here to represent each Venom Symbiote, um, or Rick's portal gun. I don't know, I just thought it'd be a cool idea. I've seen it a lot on TikTok. And basically, you just push down and twist the lid off these. I'm not a vapor, I got these from my nana, granddad, and mum, so thank you to all them. And then you just peel off the wrapper. I have found out that it was faster and easier to peel off the uh, wrapper before you rinse it out. So if you just peel this off now, um, obviously you gotta rinse it out because of all the oil that's inside it. So just peel it off before you do anything to it. Um, I would recommend leaving the lid on. All of these are mint flavoured that I have, it doesn't matter what flavour you have. But all mine are mint flavoured and it absolutely stinks and it's quite stinging my eyes right now because of all the mint. But basically you need some pliers, just pull there, boom. Keep the lids because you will need them later. Um, but once you have it like this, obviously you just go to the sink up here. Uh, obviously I had my brother helping with a whole system where I would take the lids off, I'd put them up here, and then once I put them up here, um, in there would obviously be the rinsing thing, then we'll put them upside down up there. Uh, but practically, all you have to do to rinse them out is turn the tap on, you don't need it blasting, put it on a little bit, pour it out. Put it in for a little bit, pour it out. Put it in for a little bit and pour it out. And eventually you should get rid of all the oil in there, because oil does float on top of water. So you should get rid of it all within the first square, but just give it a couple of more rinses just to make sure. The smell will probably be there forever, or for a very, very, very long time, because it's been in there for a while, so the bottle just has that scent. And once they have rinsed out, um, turn the tap off obviously, whoops. You can then put them with the rest. So once they are with the rest down there, obviously I have nine, so what I wanted to make was scream the yellow, whoops, put, put you back down on the floor. Uh, that'll do. I wanted to make Scream the Yellow Symbiote, Venom and Anti-Venom in the black ones because obviously they're the two main ones. And then I wanted to make Rick's Portal Gun. And because on the Venom family tree, Carnage, Lasher, Scream, obviously red, green, and yellow, purple, uh, orange, and there's another colour which I'm forgetting. Whatever, I forget. But then we need black, white, and green. But this is a light green and that's a dark green. So pretty much all we're going to do is grab some food colouring. We have blue. We have purple. We have orange. We have a green and a yellow. So, if you can tell, we're missing a black. Oh, that, yeah, riot, riot. So we need the silver. Um, so basically that's the food colouring. Um, so I can easily make Rick's portal gun the yellow one. I can easily make them for, I don't remember needing blue, so I don't need blue. However, I am missing black. So I can make Rick's portal gun, anti-venom. I can make everyone but Riot an actual venom, which is quite sad because Riot is grey and obviously what I'm going to use is something you've seen on the channel before. Just to squirt of this inside the thing because it is a white colour here, um, I'm not sure how well you can see, it's a white colour, so if I poured it in and then put some food colouring, that is a symbiote easily made. So, I can't make Venom or Riot, which is the two I actually wanted to make, uh, plus you also need a label maker because that's what I'm going to put on uh, these things with. Um, so we're going to move Venom and Riot over there because we can't do them yet. So, let's get into the rest. I will pour one in for you on video and then I won't do the rest. So easily, it has a small hole here, just put that on and... It's leaking, that is not what I wanted. Well first I realised why it went wrong, because I would left no air escape route for, well I left no escape route for the air, so I lifted the thing up a little bit and now the lid won't come off. 
and I did attach the squirty thing back on. I'm an idiot. How do I gonna do this? Oh, there we go. So I did attach that back on, so now I just need to add a label on it with my label decker to call this anti-venom, because anti-venom is white. So we have that. I do now have air buds as well to sort of dip in and mix. Um, so let's -a go. This is really hard with shaky hands and this bottle smell. Ah, no. I've created a vacuum and that's not good. Didn't realize this would be so messy. Pop the bubble. Pop the bubble. It's a strong ass bubble. There we go. We can't rush the small ones, we have to let it slowly drip in. Which could get frustrating at times. But if there's too big of a block, it'll, too big of a blob, it'll block the hole. Like it has done now. If then an air bubble rises. Hopefully we can... We just move that up. So to pop the air bubble. There we go. Fix the problem. Ugh. This is becoming increasingly harder than I thought. <laughs> Alright, let's stop the camera. Just a quick video update to show you them all here. I did mess up on making a purple one, so I do have two venoms, and this one's gonna go to Kian. But here they all are. I just need to level them now, and I did go wrong, so I'm missing a bottle, so I don't have Carnage yet. But I will make Carnage when I get a new bottle. Just a little top up. I will call you back when the levels are on. Bye.